going to be my second stream ever, so thank you for dropping in if you uh, are so inclined. Let's go ahead and pop in here. I think I am going to do the 1066 start just since, um, God, playing through from 867 to uh, 1453 is just such a slog. <laughs> Who would be fun? Uh, we could go... We could just go no Duke William if we wanted. Maybe somebody in Scandinavia. You know, I, I actually did not uh, pre-think this because I had a uh, stream the other day and uh, I was in the 867 start date, so I ended up starting over. But, you know what? You know what would be fun, actually, is uh, maybe playing on Tutorial Island? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll start with uh, we'll start with our friend uh, Mercad here. We are going to do a uh, total exclave independence i have found that generally uh total exclave independence is more fun um i mean even where it's not quite as bad uh in eight in 1066 as it is in 867 the uh, border gore but i have found that if you don't leave this on total you are going to just get some very very unpleasant borders <laughs> uh most of this other stuff is probably going to stay the same for the sake of oh de jour requirement yep we're going to definitely keep that on that is just so that if a person does not hold land within their uh de jour title so say you were the king of france and you didn't actually own anything within france uh it will eventually go kaput yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get started. So we will pop right in. So here we are. We are Macrod. Let's go ahead. Oh, uh, one thing that I did want to mention that I actually didn't uh, bring up is I'm very much inspired by the uh, the creator One Proud Bavarian. He's sort of the reason that I've gotten into uh, streaming recently. And particularly streaming CK3 because he takes a very interesting approach of really getting into the RP of the characters of each one that we're playing. So we are still going for those achievements. We're going to play to uh, 1453, hopefully. We're going to get those seduction-based achievements. But it'll be much more fun if we actually RP as these characters pretty heavily. So let's look at our first guy. He's a temperate, uh, wrathful, and impatient man. He's 39. So he's sort of set in his ways currently. Uh, to start with, he's a pretty pretty decent character, all, all things considered. We're going to continue down the martial path. He, since he's pretty late into his um, you know middle years, he's almost got the strategist tree uh, filled out. So now the uh, kind of second step we're going to do, uh, you, you'll notice that even though we are uh, a Christian religion, we are insular Christianity. So we are generally pretty accepting of others but we have uh, some negative effects that occur with us so we have development growth uh, penalty other people are not going to like us as much as we necessarily like them but as a bonus uh, we do have conversion resistance and we can get uh, reconverted if we convert away sometimes but that also the other big thing here is that it allows us to take on secondary spouses which is fantastic we could actually do this one first. She's 19. She's a little bit older. She's definitely not going to have kids. But um, we will have the ability to um, not take a prestige penalty. And we are going to get somebody who has 19, uh, 19 stewardship. So I think that's a good idea. Um, we can invite some knights. I think that's probably a good idea. We do have a little bit of a surplus of prestige. And... We can go straight to Crown Authority level 2, so I think we're going to do that as well. So we do have this alliance with this guy here. He's only got 126 troops, but we only have 373, so it, it certainly could be worse. Um, he is down here in Galicia. Hopefully he won't call us into anything that's really, really awful. Are there any geniuses? Oh, there's one. Um, worst case scenario, even if they don't have a kid, he can have a second wife later. I'm not... I am playing a little bit dangerous... Uh, since it's so early on, but man, that would be good if he, he got genius. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that and just see. Is there anybody that we can immediately declare on? So we could declare on this guy. I'm concerned as to whether or not we'll be able to actually defeat him. That's the only problem. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do it. Let's do it. And we're going to just immediately head in. Excellent. You love to see it. Uh, we're going to follow, I think. We did get one of our knights, uh, the person that we were interested in, but we don't have enough gold yet to hire him. Man, 
Uh, but we do have some people who we have caught. I think that that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and sell them off right away. We're going to continue with our battle here. Just immediately begin, and we stack wipe them. Fantastic. All right. So we were able to get that done very quickly. Uh, we have our friend here who wants to lower crown authority, or he's going to revolt. That's fine. I intend to take his land anyway, so it's okay. We're going to head back now. Okay, first event. My Chancellor, Earl Ragnabald, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. He tells me that my son and heir, Brian, has been running rampage all over Ormond. Okay, well, I... So here's the thing. Uh, we have enough gold to technically allow our son to become an aspiring blade master, which is good. And I, I kind of do want to encourage that, but I don't know if we're going to end up keeping him or not. You know what? You know what? I'm not going to overthink it. Yes, he is a he is a wrathful dude. He's impatient. I, I can see, you know, my... I can see myself and my boy, right? He's, uh, he's not going to take no lip from nobody. I will pay for his uh, tutelage. So hopefully I can capture him. Strategical impasse. I am sitting around the map with Mayor fin Finn's Nectar? And Earl Roggenbald, man, Earl Roggenbald is just in every one of these. Discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. So because I'm high uh, enough of a marshal, I'm able to take both uh, of their pieces of advice and sort of meld them together. But, yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no downsides to either one of these. Sometimes in this event, you'll get something that goes against the other one or just has a negative effect, like, uh, you know, uh, a negative advantage effect. But, since they're both positive, I see no reason not to do them. I might actually do something a little dangerous and revoke this guy's land here. He might accept it. Hmm. He might accept it, huh? Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to raise my troops here. I'm just going to start heading over here in case he says no. And I'm going to revoke his title. Okay, so he says no. No, uh, not unexpected. Even so, I think we're going to win this. Yes, okay. Fantastic. We've wounded him, and we have won. All of my dreams are coming to fruition. I may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, honestly. I don't know. Um, no, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and smack these guys. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a... Um, get the... Yep. Ah, yes, excellent. Okay. So, thank you for that. Four there is done. Man, when you're this weak, you know, every little bit counts. It really does. We're going to march. We're going to have a little bit of a pitched battle with this dude. No problem. Again, we've caught this guy like five times now. He keeps giving me ten gold. I will continue to take it. And we can now begin our beautiful, beautiful siege. I might actually run out of troops to the point where I, I won't be able to continue the siege. If that's the case, we will... Uh, we will see. Ooh, all right. When Brian returns from his adventure, every courtier was there to see him. Some of them cheered and shouted out their admiration, while others were less impressed. All right, look at that, Blade Master, my dude. Excellent. You are serving me well. It's an excellent knight. Maybe he will prove himself to be a worthy heir after all. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, reconvene. I'm going to take this out real quick. Okay, once again. I mean, every, literally every time. It's just it's just free money. He keeps enticing me to chase him. Because, I mean, every time I'm getting like 10 gold or I'm capturing somebody useful. Yep, look, there it is again. Every time. And he, he's willing to pay. I mean, hey, man. More power to you. Good for you for caring about your courtiers, I guess. Almost done here. This has been quite the slog, but we have almost gotten this duchy under our control. We're pr we'll probably do the same thing again to this guy. Uh, I know I'm being a little bit of a tyrant, but when you're this weak this early on, I think that it's, you know, it's fair game. So he is now our prisoner. We're going to take that title from him, and we could just kill him, or we could ransom him. For how much? 10 gold? Yeah, this early on, I, I think that's that's fair. I'm going to let my troops 
kind of climb up a little bit. I don't want this to be as much of a slog the second time through. Okay, there we go. We have now gotten the strategist trait. So our good friend King Murkad here is actually fairly good. I mean, excellent at uh, uh, the old marshal. Let's see if there's anybody else who is perhaps more suited. Must see if there's anybody who can give me alliance power. There is this time. So we could potentially get a alliance with Kanakt here. I might do that just so that we can start to... Yeah, look at that. 699 uh, troops. I, I would like some allies... <laughs> look at that. I would be making a, uh, a contract to marry this zero-year-old. <laughs> Interesting. Um, well, if I'm going to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some other wives first. Excellent. So we now have a alliance and we are going to shortly be uh, taking away his stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. He will not accept. So actually before I do that, I'm going to get rally all the troops. We're going to go ahead and just send him there and we are going to revoke the title. All right. He's a little angry with me, understandably, but you know, what can you do? Okay, we now have our situation under control. We have all the titles within the Petty Kingdom directly under our control. And we are sitting pretty. Munster is now unified and completely under our control. So I think the next few steps here are looking for weak enemies that we can sort of take advantage of. So this is... Probably I should have had him already working for this, but it's not too bad since I want a little time for us to recover. Ooh, okay, so my new wife here uh, is pregnant now, which is fantastic. Potentially that could mean we lose a few titles, uh, but I'm not extremely concerned about that. I could declare war on this dude for whomst. Whomst are you? You are some rando, and if I were to do that, he becomes my vassal. Interesting. That sounds pretty bueno. Now, you don't like me because I'm a tyrant, but, you know, that's fine. Blunder results in claim. I just saw that. We have the we have a claim on Kanak now. Of course, it's my freaking ally is the one that I get a claim on, but that's fine. I might just I might just declare now just because I'm concerned with only 271 troops and somebody else is going to do it. So let's let's get the party started.